Hello everybody, my name is Halo and today I wanted to talk about the content creator D-Boy the Goat, also known as... <laughs> Now the reason I wanted to bring this guy up is because he does not seem okay in the head and I genuinely think he needs to stay off the internet. Now, why would I say this? Well, the first example of why I think this is from his recent tweet. And from what we can see, he's just starting random arguments with kids on the internet on Twitter and talking about how talking about people's mothers and going to people's funerals and just seeing plain out racist out of nowhere. Like this is a dude everyone thought was wholesome. Uh, he was known for that 150 years meme, and now he's just doing stuff like this. I don't know, it's just weird. And he's also trying to say that all the kids watching his videos or on his Twitter page are, you know what. He has also deactivated his Twitter account recently, and I believe you should stay off the internet as he cares way too much about numbers, and I'll get to that in a little bit. However, I think... He is going to come back eventually, as he, as he said he would quit Roblox and other sites many times in the past, but never did so. The next thing I wanted to talk about is how he starts threatening minors in DMs for zero reason. A user by the name of Spencer12321 posted screenshots of D-Boy the Goat DMing him saying stuff like, Don't die, don't die playing with me, play with yourself, don't play with me, and stuff like that, and just being rude for zero reason. Keep in mind, this is an adult with four kids talking to a 15-year-old on Twitter. That's a little concerning. It, it, considering he has four kids himself, if he treats random people on Twitter like this, imagine how he treats his kids in real life. Another thing about Deep Boy the Go, he has allegedly scammed a user on Twitter of 10,000 Robux after getting their Discord 1,000 members in one week. And after not being paid for months, they were supposedly blocked by Deep Boy the Goat. I just wanted to throw that in there because, first of all, he's causing like arguments with random kids and all that, and now he's scamming people apparently. I don't know, this needs to be looked into more. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about was how D-Boy used to be in his Discord server. Unfortunately, I don't have any screenshots of any of these uh, things I'm about to talk about, as he deleted his Discord while having a mental breakdown in the server. I actually watched it happen live. But what I can tell you is that he used to ping every single person in the server daily, saying things like, you guys are ungrateful, you're not showing up to the streams when I'm streaming every day, and that he does that pity stuff every single day, like every single day, I'm not even joking, there would be like so many pings, and anyone who was on that server can confirm that he would say stuff like that in order to gain sympathy, and he was acting like the exact same way I was showing in the screenshots of how he was just being like, so... I don't know, like so aggressive for zero reason. And then he would also try and put the blame on his downfall on everyone but himself. This dude is not a good influence on the internet and he really needs to get some help from what it seems like. What do you guys think of this situation? Is there stuff that I have missed? If I did, let me know in the comments. Anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.